Hi everyone, I just wanted to share today with you um, a little 6x9 clasp style envelope um, junk, junk journal um, and this is for a swap over on the Facebook group Junk Journal Junkies and it was to make a junk journal with a, a clasp envelope and to make it in a summer theme. So uh, thanks very much Laurie for hosting this swap. I've had a lot of fun with this and um, I'll get on with showing you it. So on the front, the paper here, that's um, by Pebbles and it's Walnut Grove. And the rest of the papers that I've used inside are mainly just some um, papers that I had in my stash. Some of them were freebie papers that I got from magazines. Um, on the front I added a journaling card and this is from the Kaiser Craft Captured Moments um, journaling cards and they're really pretty sort of fun and summery cards. Um, and then these are also some little um, tags that I had which came with some of the um, freebie papers that I've used. And I added a little chipboard camera there, added a, a banner there, and on the back I've just left it plain. I used a brad on the front and some blue seam binding, and that just winds round like that. And this got quite chunky. <laughs> So then inside, again, this is um, just a, some, some of the cutouts from the papers. And here, um, also the other thing that I used, the other pa um, papers that I used, uh, which is this one here, I cut some pages out of um, sort of like a ready-made scrapbook that I bought from one of the supermarkets. And it had it was a travel theme and it had lots of nice um, pictures and things inside. So this is one of the pages that I cut from that. Also, it had a little calendar. So I just cut that out and that's just for June, July and August. That's another one of the journaling cards from the set. And that's small envelope um, and this is also this is a free printable um, I'll try to link some of the printables down below but mostly they were I just searched for um, summer journal cards on Pinterest and uh, it comes up with a lot of different options so just pop it there at the front and then this is also from a free printable that I've got on Pinterest. And I'll just show you the paper. That's from a company called ohappyday.com. And it's just nice ice lollies, ice cream and melon that you can cut out. So I cut this one out and made it into a tag. Um, well, actually, and it could also be used as a bookmark as well. Then on this page, these are some homemade journaling cards. I just added some washi tape and stamped a little bird. And um, I was inspired to make these from Yvonne. She has a video making where she made some of these the other week. There's a pocket there. This is a stamp that um, I've cut out and stuck on the pocket. And here I've used some of my Kool-Aid papers. I had some spare pieces left over. That's another free printable. And this is from some stickers that I had. And that says, old fashioned ice cream rich and creamy 
I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> And also, um, as I'm in the UK, I wanted to use some um, summer themed things that we have over here in the summer, like strawberries. So that's why I included the strawberry paper. And I added this another little tuck spot with some seam binding. It's a Kool-Aid doily. It's a paper bag. There's another tag inside there. That's another free printable. That's just a little, another little sticker that I cut out. That's another one that I've cut out. This is from the um, scrapbook. It's another tag. This is another piece of paper that I cut from the scrapbook. Um, here I just made a little tuck spot with a doily and a scallop punch out and this says best day ever I love the red gingham paper I think that looks really summery and it reminds me of picnics And here I added um, a little pocket, <laughs> a little uh, craft bag, and uh, this was sent to me by Leslie. And then this is just a little memo uh, pad, some little memo pads I have, which says love this. I just made a tiny pocket here, paper clipped, just paper clipped a couple of tickets there that um, Crafty Irina sent me. And here it's a white tag and it says a good day. And on this side I made another pocket. This is actually a double pocket so you could add something really small there. It's a little tag that says just for you. And another tag that says, I stamped smile, smile. And I made another pocket here with a piece of doily. This is another journaling card from the Kaiser Craft set. That says, note the facts. And we have a lovely bright yellow paper bag. This is another printable, a free printable, and that's the middle. Um, I bound it with um, embroidery floss. And then here I have another homemade tag, which says noted. So there's um, lots of extra space for journaling. Here, this is just some white card and I used my butterfly punch and stamped out a pattern there. And here this is a postcard. These are some postcards. I bought several from a, a little seaside town that's nearby to us. And there you see them on our beaches over here. That's just a pull out page. Uh, this is another one of the ice lollies. I made that into a tuck spot. That's another tuck spot. The journaling card and one of the little melon cutouts. That's another free printable. And they are stamped, a picture makes every moment last forever. That's another cutout from the um, freebie papers. The other side of the bag with another journaling card. A 
little tuck spot there. This is a big tag that I've cut out and I've used washi tape to make another, another pull out page. And here I made a double pocket with some more of the Kool-Aid paper. And this is another sticker. That's another homemade journaling card and it says a good day. And then this is another little piece, a little ticket that I've stamped and cut out. And this is also the Pebbles Walnut Grove paper. And then in the pocket I added a recipe for lemonade. And then these are a couple of postcards from uh, Norfolk where I live. So there we go. That's the end of the junk journal. It just winds around like that. So it's got a little bit of extra um, ribbon there if the person who gets it, if they want to fill it up a bit more, they've got a little bit of extra ribbon there. Okay, so thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.